are not only visionaries, but investors. We invest in the future, and our mission is to profit from where the world is going. One definition is little green people, but when you see an alien founder, that you think they actually look like a little green person. They're that far out of the ordinary. And I would say this, when you see an alien founder, you know you're seeing an alien founder. It's not about a job, it's not about a career, it is a calling. Steve Jobs, of course, famously wore the same clothes all the time, and the reason why? It was one more decision he did not want to make every day, and that is alien-esque. One of the advantages that we've had in tech is our work on Apple, understanding how Steve Jobs operates and his motives, helped us identify Elon Musk as a similar type of alien founder. And ultimately is we use that template as identifying future alien founders. But what we found with our investments in these earliest companies is these alien founders have a way when they hit a wall to get through that wall. So in Deepwater's office, we have an old school, high school, 1980s scoreboard that you'd see in a gymnasium. When we ordered the scoreboard, we were moving to a new office, and it turns out that it did not fit through the entryway of the building. We paid about $400 for it. Easiest thing would have been to throw it away. But we decided we weren't gonna stop there. As a team, we went and drilled out 210 rivets within this scoreboard. Ultimately, we came back as a team, reassembled it in the office. And so the reason why this is such a big part of our culture is we recognize that there's gonna be times when the answer is not very clear, but to have that language embedded in our culture really helps us when we hit those difficult points to be creative about getting around it. So I drink Green Death twice a day. It's actually kale powder, but about eight years ago when I started drinking it, I named it Green Death because you felt like you're gonna die after you drank it. What it ultimately does, besides the feeling of, of being sick when you initially drink it, half, half hour, an hour later, you start to actually uh, get like a, a little bit of a high off all of those good nutritions. And it's a reminder for me to work through the pain to get to the gain. That delayed rewards mentality is something that I've had since I'm a kid, and I just wanna to continue to do that. So Green Death is a daily reminder. And something else that if you ever come to work with us at Deepwater, you gotta do your shot of Green Death. A visionary can see where the world is going, can identify the companies that will benefit from that. An investor knows when to buy and sell those equities, the, the, those companies. And so that's a differentiating point for us, is the ability not only to be visionaries, but investors. We invest not only in public companies and some of the biggest tech companies, but also startups. And our ability to look inside these large mega companies and understand what some of their weakness points are, and to be able to find some of those smaller companies that can help fill those, the ability to make that connection is something unique at Deepwater. We actually go out on the street and talk to people about how they're using AI, for example, or how they think about electric cars. And we never miss an opportunity to do that. If you'd spend a day with me, it would become almost comical at the grocery store, at people that I talk to, when I'm in an Uber talking to the driver. I'm at a party, I'm probably asking all the questions. And the reason why is I'm always trying to get insights in terms of where the world is going and what people want from that future. It's those types of things that satisfy our curiosity and allow us to make the best investment choices.